Hello and welcome back. This is my video channel, B-Rex the Pair Goddess One. I am Barb the B-Rex and welcome to the last Ipsy bag and add-ons for maybe forever because I'm really thinking I don't need anything. I have boxes of shit. So before we get started and I'm digging into this and getting glue all over myself, don't forget to do all those YouTube things, you know, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Comment. Give me ideas on what to talk about once these stop coming in the mail. Why not? Anyway, uh, also, if you know, you know, I work a very busy job. I'm also involved in some local volunteering. I don't have a lot of time for my channel. So I don't own a specific upload schedule. Also, between now and the holidays... I am pretty much jam-packed with events and things to do and responsibilities and family to visit pretty much every weekend and some days during the week that I have to take time off for. So if you don't see from me anything from me, I'm not dead. I'm just busy. Okay, let's begin. So I had a lot of points from Ipsy to use and I had to do them now because if you don't have a bag coming, what they'll do is, I'm just going to take everything out and put it here. It's easier than digging in here. They will go ahead and um, not give you, um, they won't ship it. It needs to ship with a bag. So if you've canceled your membership and you're not getting bags, you, my friend, won't get your point redemptions. So here's where we are. Um, trying to sit here and see what's what. Some of these things are point redemptions, I think. This is a point redemption. That is not. And also, there's no actual bag. So I'm offended. Like, I didn't get my bag at all. No bag. No bag. I got my add-ons. But no bag. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck is in front of me. There is no bag in the bag. See? No bag. All I have is a bunch of loose shit. Now, I know I added on this Brio Geo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture 3-in-1 Leave-On Spray. It's 1.75 ounces, I think. Yes, 51 milliliters. I like Brio Geo's hair stuff. I do not recall adding on the Murad Correct and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Serum, which is step three, and only 0 0.1 fluid ounces. In other words, three milliliters. I believe I've had this before. I'm not 100% down with it, but it is zinc oxide. I'll give it a try. This was supposed to be free with having gotten so many add-ons. This is the Polar Neige Eternal Eternal Snow, basically. Uh, is it a hand cream? It is a cream. I can't tell if it's for hands or not because, again, look how tiny that font is. And I don't have my reading glasses on. I just have my contacts. So this guy was free. I know these two palettes were definitely add-ons. break through the taped shut stuff because these things were also listed on the um because you know now they don't have second chance add-ons they took that away too yeah so these were simply listed in their little like mega shop drop so this right here this is the Ciate London Brazilian Glow Eye and Face Palette I got the Brazilian Glow Palette it's interesting it was like, I like it, but I don't like it. It looks good on me. It's kind of interesting. This is supposed to be for medium tones. So up here, we have what looks like one of those marbleized eyeshadows, but it's actually luminous. It looks almost more like a, I'm not going to say glitter, because it's not. It's like, like pearlescent shimmer. And it's like a champagne white gold with a little bit of like a beige champagne in it. That's friggin' more stunning in person than it was on the picture. So I'm very down with that. Then we have like a matte rose color. I don't know if it's supposed to be a blush or an eyeshadow. Maybe you could use it as either. Then you have these kind of two face powder kind of shades. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a face powder or if it's supposed to be a blush or an eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure. You know what? The way I look at it is it's pressed. It's yours. Do with it as you want. This is definitely more of a champagne-y shimmer. And then you've got three eyeshadow shades. Two mattes and another pearlescent marble swirl. Now let's see what the back tells us. Oh, I can't even read this. Why am I trying? Let me just put on some reading glasses so I can read some stuff. Because I'd already packed my stuff to head out to the office. I'm taking two minutes to check the mail. Because I also have to put something in the mail. 
before I run out the door. And with allergies and the temperature being in the 60s to 40s, and yet it's not staying there steady enough. I'm sorry, my hair is all fuzzy. I brushed it through when it was wet instead of letting the curls set. So now I got waves, I also did braids, and sometimes the waves play well and sometimes they don't. I look like I'm 100 and I don't care. All right, so let's go back to this cream. It is a youthful promise cream. It doesn't tell you if it's for the face or for the body. Anti-aging, eh, skin barrier, hydrated, fine lines, wrinkles disappear. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be for the face. But if it's too thick, it's going on my hands. Now this palette tells you in the back on both the box and on this, in a two font on white writing, you have a face perfecting glow, which is Santorini sheer glow. That's that pearlescent one I was talking about with the shimmer that looks prettier in person. Then we have the center is three eyeshadows. Then this little one on the corner was a blush. So that is a blush. Then you have another highlighter and a bronzing powder. This is highlighter and that's bronzing powder. This ain't bronzing nobody in this house. This is going to be face powder. I'm just saying. Still very handy to keep at my purse or my desk as a like touch up one and done kind of thing. So I do remember buying this as an add-on. Um, what is this? Volumizing Mascara. Okay. So this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Volumizing Mascara. I thought I got this as a add-on. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but it's fucking huge. This is way bigger than any, like, 350 one I've ever had. Um, KVD Pencil Liner, Long Wear Gel Liner. What color are we? Are we Trooper Black? Do we have a color? Oh, we are Magnetite Gray. It's a gel liner from them. It just looks like any pencil gel liner, but I'll show you. See? So it's this dark charcoal, which I like. A lot of times because then I can do like an ombre effect oh it'd be nice if I had a tip I'm gonna have to tell them about this because there's nothing in there maybe they can send me one with something in there and my bag can I have my bag please and I also know I redeemed a shit ton of points I believe this was a redemption I know this was a redemption where are the rest of my redemptions are you a redemption yes you are so I have three redemptions right here. Redemption number one is this double-ended duo highlight brush, which is great because I can use it with that palette. So one side is, I like the cut. This is why I wanted it. I was gonna buy it one of these times when it was there and then like it sold out and I was like, eh, if I'm meant to have it, I'll get it. So I'm glad I used points, look at that. It's one of those angled cuts. You could use it for a cream product. This is a great shape for a highlighter brush or if you wanted to do an all over wash of color very lightly, um, not digging the glue. Tres Luce, I like your color styles. This is brush B203, duo highlight brush. Um, again, I'm more of a fan of Araceli Beauty. They were around first. I kind of see you as a copycat. Sorry. So this is a points redemption. This is a points redemption. The Skyliner Duo Automatic Gel Eyeliner Set in jet black and tan line. And it is sealed shut tighter than a crab's buttocks with safety. What should I call it? Do I have a razor in here? Going in my junk drawer. Don't mind me. Yes, it's a giant junk drawer. I'm that decadent of an American. I have that much junk. Actually, it has a lot of kitchen stuff in there. And then the back part has a separate compartment for junk. Because we, we mingle our junk and our not junk, I guess. We make do with 1,100 square feet. We make do. Some people make do with 200 square feet. So I'm not complaining. I would like glasses, so. So these are what these look like. They're more plastic feeling. So I don't know if they scroll up. Oh, at least there's a tip. These do have a base that scrolls. You know what, let me try that with the other one. See if there's a base that scrolls. So that's the black, and this is the tan lines. And it scrolls and it retracts, that's good. So at least I know these work. Let's check this guy. Because who knows, he could actually be fine and just like you have to scroll him up. Let's see. Oh, he does scroll, but let's see. Oh my God, there's 
something in there? Shut up. Thank you for saving me the time. I still need to reach out to them and ask them where the fuck my actual bag is because I didn't get the bag. I got add-ons and I got my redemptions. So these were redemptions, these three. And the fourth one here is another redemption. This is the clear brow gel from Winome. Never heard of this brand, but it, I needed to waste points. I'm going to still end up leaving this place behind with like 3,000 points. Because there just wasn't anything that I hadn't already redeemed for. Oh, this is big. This is nice. Nice brush. Go Indie Brands. I'm down. So these were my four redemptions for points. Put them up side A. And then for my add-ons, we had the cream, the mascara. The cons that's my cat knocking shit over, getting up where he doesn't belong. I also got the Air Matte Lip Color from NARS in the shade... Lose control. Nice chestnut color. You know I love me a NARS liquid lip. They're American girl. Oh, I love all them. Oh, this one's interesting. This one has a different, I mean, it has a different container. Could you not walk when I'm filming? I'm going to need you not to, to photobomb. Thank you. Love you. Yeah. 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 As long as you're transfer resistant, I don't give a fuck. You're a great color. I like the little square tubes better because this is a very strange shape. But you know what? If I get the product out because I can squeeze. No, not squeezable. Okay. We're good. We're good. And then, so these are the three of the cheapies that I got. This guy was 12. This guy was 12. Here's my biggie that was 12. I have to check and see where this Murad thing came from because if that's the only thing I got from my actual bag, you owe me four things in a fucking bag. Thieves. Okay, iconic booming and gleaming eyeshadow palette. This will make the third palette of theirs. I got the disc to dancing, which had a lot of dark colors. And then I had like the, the first sunlight one they were doing. But this one, this one looks really, really nice. It's not quite as orangey as the sunlight one. It has more pinks and neutrals to it. But it still has some golds and some shimmers. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to actually put all three together and see how I can maybe cross palette these looks because these are normally $60 palettes. That's why I bought this for 12 bucks. I was like, they don't even want the 18 for it. They just want the 12. Of course, mine had to come looking like it was dropped on its asshole because that's how we roll, bitches. Why would we have quality shipping? And my bag, not sealed shut with any sort of like tape or anything. It was just closed. So now I, I still need to know where this came from. I think this little thing is from my uh, my missing bag, which I have to notify them about, which I'll do on Ips on uh, Twitter. I do not call it X. I refuse to even update it to BX. Oh, this is adorable. And you're back up on the counter where you have no fucking business. I swear. I love my cat children, but they be back on their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So right now, liking my stuff. Would really like it if I got all my stuff, but we'll see what happens because they owe me a fucking bag. I have to send them a letter. I mean, um, a ticket. Usually they're really good about resolving their tickets, but again, another reason I didn't renew for the year. And this means I'm done with all of my beauty subscriptions. No more yes, oh yes. No more Ipsy, no more Boxy, no more Scentbird. And what was the other one I had? Allure Beauty Box. All gone. All gone. And now all I have is my bracelet one. And even then, I'm only keeping it because I get enough bracelets that I can give them away as gifts. So, other than that, be good, be cool, or be warm, depending on what part of the U.S. you're in. And if you're outside of the U.S., may your weather be safe for you. May your country be safe for you. I'm not an advocate of war. I also know that a lot of the modern war problems around the world are caused by the legacies of great empires and superpowers of the past subjugating local peoples, and redrawing lines arbitrarily. And with that in mind, I pray for all human beings to be in a peaceful environment where they can thrive and they can have enough food and they can have their needs met. That's all I ever pray for. Because humans as a species, historically, are nothing but a furless fighting monkey species that is greedy and will screw someone over to better themselves. However... That's the species historical record. There is enough beauty and art and science and altruism and joy and technology for good, not for just making centibillionaires, which are 
is about as useful as a bicycle to a fish, but that's another story. That I really feel that everyone should just pray that eventually we get out of our own goddamn ways. And if people want to go, why haven't the aliens come here yet? Because we're probably a prison planet for humanoid type creatures that can't get out of their own ways. And those that are enlightened enough to realize that, wow, we all need to change as a species, as an overall global culture. Those people are bringing us forward to maybe, just maybe a day where... We don't all have to wake up and wonder if we're going to starve to death, if we're going to die of medical conditions because we can't afford to treat them, or if we're going to be blown the hell up in our homes. So maybe we'll have an environment and animals and species of flora and fauna that flourish, and we can live at peace with the planet in harmony and with harmony with each other. But, you know, that's just my inner hippie nature. Be well. Ponder these truths. Let me know what you think. And... uh I hope everyone remains safe. Thank you.